What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem. Today we have Chapter 24, Unfulfilled Heart. So, last time we dealt with Lloyd, or not Lloyd, Linus, of the Four Fangs. And then we got an all-too-extensive look into the intimate issues involved with uh, Burns' royal family. But we kind of need their help, so we have agreed to find the Fire Emblem for them. Unfulfilled Heart It is an odd place for a mountain- er, uh, mountains. What are those mountains doing there? It's an odd place for a palace, but I guess it kind of makes sense for Burn. That doesn't look that impossible. I mean, I guess it would be hard if you had a couple, like, knights blocking the path or something. So what you're saying is it's an easily defensible castle. I kind of get that. Who knows? Because he's a jerk? I don't know, Hector doesn't seem the most sneaky type. But we're the good guys, we shouldn't go sneaking around. An inner garden doesn't seem the best place to be sneaking. It's, by its very nature, kind of open. So I guess the, uh... The king and queen's respective children at least get along well. I mean, I guess they're both the king's children, but only Zephiel is the queen's? I don't know. They have some weird things going on in this family. Hello, Zephyr. Murdoch? Who's this fellow? Is it dead? Because they were hunting. It doesn't seem like the best idea to just go around giving foxes to people. He really is a bit of an asshat, isn't he? He also seems somewhat paranoid. behind the disappearance of the Fire Emblem. I don't really get, like, it, it seems like a, almost a little, like, inconsequential that this Fire Emblem, at least in this game, would just be, like, an object required for the coronation ceremony or, or something. So he's trying to assassinate Zephiel, I guess? It 
don't kill him. He's good at killing other people. I need him. You sense someone? You can sense people? It's certainly convenient that we're witnessing all of this. No, 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 I want to play! <laughs> That's not very nice. I don't know why, so it seems like just about every Fire Emblem game has to have some kind of Mad King. And this guy certainly seems to fit the bill. Mm hmm. I imagine there'd be some pretty good quintessence in a military nation like Burn. Yes, let's go to the lair of the bad guys so we can get the things so that we can then go and go to the seal the shrine of seals so we can get the things that let us kill the bad guys. Is there really do you really not see a flaw in this logic? Why not? Well, obviously they're different, but... Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <gasps> Wyverns! It's more than one rider. Hmm. Ah! Who are you? Hmm? Huh? You can't sense her? And he didn't even have to scream. You got that, didn't you? Or... You got that, did you? So... That's kind of weird. So she, like, serves both? It's weird. So, a bit of an interesting mission going on here. Uh, 15, oh, wow, 15 units. I don't even have that many. I mean, I have that many, but I don't have that many that I actually want to use. Da, da, da. Oh, right, uh... Yeah, my invent- my... Uh, Merlinus's inventory is kind of... Full. So I guess the prudent thing to do in this case would be to start loading people up with excess equipment. Okay, so I've distributed some of my uh, less useful items among random people here. So let's take a look at our actual inventory. Uh, I like having an iron sword just because it's basically the lightest weapon I own. So giving one of those to Sane seems like a good idea to me. Grab... 
up another heal staff. Might as well give her a mend. I'm giving people, trying to give people a little bit more equipment at this point, uh, especially people that are only carrying like a couple things, just to kind of free up a little bit more inventory space. Actually, maybe instead of the lightning tome, I should take the shine. It does a little bit more damage. Don't need that. Although I will grab another iron sword. Bum. Grab an iron axe for Hector. And what I think I will do is give this Orion's Bolt to Farina. Or that's not Farina, that's Fiora. And I will add Fiora to my group so she can sell off some stuff. I also gave her a bunch of weapons that are um, mostly broken that I had sitting in my bag. And, I mean, I don't want to put them on someone because they don't have many uses left. They'd just be eating up inventory space, so might as well do something with them. So now let's play with our formation a little bit. Actually, now that I think of it, is there even a shop in this mission? I think there is somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, they're over here. Okay. Anyways, that's Florina, let's put her down there. Uh, there is something that I need to steal this mission. I don't need to steal, but I want to. I can steal a Night Crest from this guy. But... Don't have to worry about that until a little bit in... That seems good enough, uh, formation-wise. There's a few interesting things about this mission. Um, uh, actually... Okay, there are some reinforcements here, but not for a few turns. Of course! If you say so. Some small assistance. I'm awesome, but I'm gonna be a small assistance. And you waited until now to give it to me? An air of mystery. That's actually incorrect. Elliot will never be able to use the Heaven CEO. Oh. His inventory's full. I'll just send the vulnerary back. Indeed. Damn straight you will. Okay. So, at the start of this mission we get a Heaven Seal, which is a uh, promotion item for Lords. Uh, Eliwood can't use it though. Uh, well, your main lord can't use it, rather. If you were playing on Hector's mode, then Hector couldn't use it, but Eliwood could. So I think I'm gonna give it to Hector. Lin is also level 20, but I'm gonna give it to Hector. Uh... Now, before I get into this mission, uh, one other thing that I want to mention is the fact that if you are playing on Hector's mode, then there's another chapter in between the Four Fanged Offense and this battle. Uh, there's another chapter, Hector gets another chapter called Crazed Beast. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the story implications of that mission are, but he has to like defend a marshland for some reason. And that is the map in which you can recruit uh, Farina if you have 20,000 gold to give her. So uh, if that's something you care about, then take note. Now, in the meantime, this is a survival mission. We have to survive for 11 turns. And unlike some other survival missions, the chances of us getting out of this without, like, getting around that requirement are pretty slim. 
The main reason for that is Vida here. So, as we can see, her stats are kind of ridiculous. 25 defense, 20 resistance, which is ridiculous for a Wyvern Lord. She's a level 10 Wyvern Lord, not even a Wyvern Rider. 25 strength, 21 speed. But you'll notice that a lot of the, those stats come from the little pluses. So, if we look at the spear here, I guess it doesn't say anything, but uh, this is actually a very special spear, and this, that spear is the source of these pluses. So I guess the story is supposed to be that her spear has been blessed or something by Ner Nergal? Nergal, however you want to pronounce his name. So this is the sp spear that Avida here has as occasionally referred to as the, the Uber Spear, because it's really good. I mean, look at all those bonuses it gives you. Spears themselves are pretty good too, but those bonuses are the big thing. So with that spear, Vida will basically annihilate anyone who tries to... Or basically anyone who comes anywhere near her. So we are not going to kill Vida. However, there is a way to obtain her spear. Uh, she doesn't drop it on death, but basically what it comes down to is you have to use the mind glitch if you recall what that is. Um, so basically, what the mine glitch is, is uh, if you place down a mine on the map and someone steps on it, if you reset the system while the that character is taking damage, when you turn the system back on and resume the battle, you will have control of the enemy units. Or at least so I'm told. I've never actually done the mine trick, so I don't know exactly how it works. So if you do that, then there's a couple ways you can obtain the uber spear. One is you can go to this... that not that shaman? I guess it's this shaman? Yeah, you can go to this shaman and hand the spear to him. And because of the way the items that enemies drop work, like I explained previously, it's just a flag. And enemies that are flagged for it will drop whatever's in the bottom of the, their inventory. So if you if you have Vita trade the spear to this guy, then the spear will be at the bottom of his inventory, and killing him will cause him to drop the spear. The other option is you could have Vida fly all the way down here, and actually she can actually interact with Merlinus if you can control her. So you can just trade the spear directly into Merlinus's bag. Uh, I don't think you can trade to, to another character. But yeah, but none of that really matters because I'm not using the mind glitch, so that's not something that I'm going to take advantage of. Anyways, uh, for now, are there? There's a bunch of nomads down there. I think I'm gonna do. Let's have Rebecca kill this guy. These brigands are making me a little bit nervous because they're kind of in the vicinity of that village down there in the southwest. Which is the only thing that we really have to worry about in this mission. Do any of these nomads, they do not have longbows. The reason that's important is because if they did have longbows, they could hit Florina, I think, when she was positioned on this mountain. I maybe should have had her keep her lance on because I think okay well neither of those wyvern riders can reach her so what I think I'm gonna do for now is have Oswin go there I need to clear up these guys at some point so I can move Farina, or Fiora rather, up that way, but none of my lords are... I mean, I can I want to use Elliewood, but not that much. Actually, I guess what I could do is... Uh, how shall I do this? Position Elliewood... Grab the Heaven Seal and use the Heaven Seal. Now that Hector's promoted, I can give him as much experience as I want. 
And he also gets an extremely massive axe. He didn't get any strength from promoting either. Although 5 resistance is pretty uh, impressive. And he can use swords now, if I wanted him to. Wow, he's actually up to 58 avoidance. Why is his avoidance so high? Oh, probably because of his support with Elliewood. But anyways, he's all promoted now, so that's good in things. I don't really want these three to do anything, so that's kind of annoying, but we'll just have to deal. I think Raven, I'm going to move up. Let's actually move him there. That way this guy's probably going to come down there and attack Raven. Uh, Priscilla, I'll move Sarah down with these guys. Do I use an axe? I think I'll stick with the spear here. Spear here! That's one dead archer. I don't know why, but I feel like I should move Canis up this way. I guess it can't hurt. Matthew. Just move him up a little bit, I guess. Who's left? Oh, those guys. Okay. Show me what you got. So, like I said, there are going to be some reinforcements in this mission. They're going to come from the northeast in force on turn 7 and 8. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh. I didn't expect that to happen. I was expecting him to go after Sane. Double hit. Double hit. So that's level 3 for Sane. Well, if I, if I had to choose one set for him to get, it would be Strength. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. Hopefully the other guy can't reach her? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure even Oswin can probably double tag this guy. So that's another dead Wyvern Rider! Now then. Hmm, this guy has an Elfire Tome. He can actually hurt Oswin! Oh man! Okay. So, first order of business is I need to heal Priscilla back up from her unexpected attack. And. I guess what I'll do is have Raven kill this mage. I thought Raven's resistance was lower than that. He's only taking one damage more than Oswin. I guess seven resistance isn't terrible. This guy, who does not even come close to standing a chance. Ha! Take that! My shoulders are more impressive than yours! Then let's have Rebecca... Murderfy this Wyvern Rider. Big time! And now that the guys on this mountain are dealt with, I think I'm going to send Florina up this way. And I believe I'm going to send Priscilla up this way too. I guess Raven probably needed the healing more than Oswin did, didn't he? Oh well. 
She's almost level 13? 12, okay. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. So, Ellie would take on the Shaman. Someone he can actually kill! And pretty convincingly, too, actually. And somehow he got hit with a 70% hit chance. Eliwood's luck is really not going too well these days. What? He can't move through this forest? Why not? That's really weird. And I guess his movement didn't go up either. Normally when a unit promotes, they gain one or two movement. Like, Raven has six. I I guess Oswin's didn't go up. Uh, Rebecca should have six. Sarah should have six. Dart should have six. But I guess Hector... Maybe he's considered an armored unit now? So maybe that's why? I don't know. Start dealing with some guys down this way. Oh, I guess I should kill this Myrmidon, huh? Dodge this! He didn't dodge it. And now you're dead. Don't think this guy can move very far. Yeah. Actually... Is it this guy that has the Nightcrest? Oh, he can actually hit Dart where he's standing. That's good. I was gonna say, like, he might just go and attack Dart and just die. But apparently not. Okay, Sane. That's enough on the back line. Back to the front with you. And by the front, I mean... Wait for this brigand to come down off the mountain so you can kill him. Flux! Although, this guy is standing on a mountain, so I don't have a very good hit chance. Well, one out of two. Not bad. It only takes one more. And I guess that's it for now. Well, he doesn't have the best hit chance either. I do like the way Druids dodge. That's kind of spiffy. Like, their dodge animation, I mean. More magic! Canis is very slowly becoming an acceptable unit. Huh. Monks, they seem to have really low magic for some reason. That's kind of weird. This might hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt, and Eliwood's gonna kill the, the Sage, which is kind of surprising. But that's all the experience he needs. Probably and then some. And what a gloriously unimpressive final level it is. Like, it's not the final time he's gonna level up, period, but it's the final time for now. Okay. First order of business is to steal this Knight's Crest. Which, for all intents and purposes, is basically just 5,000 gold. And then... I feel like I should kill... This guy. Oh, I'm not gonna kill him? I missed a 91... Oh, I am gonna kill him! Oh man, Dart. You're playing with my emotions here. Um... Kill this guy, and that way neither of them are going to touch Matthew. He could probably survive an attack from either of them. He's got a pretty good amount of HP, but... That's not a risk I want to take. I kind of do want Canis to come up this way. But... The best way to do that is probably to ferry him over. Like so. Basically, I'm positioning these guys to 
kind of counteract the reinforcements that are inevitably going to end up coming. Uh, from the corner up here in about four turns time. Murder this guy's face with the new and improved Hector. And his first attack is a critical hit. Although I guess he does have Elliwood here for support, so... I would like to have these guys rejoin the group down here, but I'm kind of paranoid that if I try and move through this area, I'm gonna get get the attention of these Wyvern Riders. And if that happens, then... Well, nothing good can come of it. Although... I guess I can kind of skirt the corner here a little bit and probably be fine. But I think just those two. And I guess Raven needs a little... Well, it doesn't need, but he could use a little bit of a topping off. As often as not, I end up just topping people off just so I don't forget that they're hurt, because it's... When you're dealing with so many units in a single battle, it can be pretty easy to forget. How far can this guy actually move? Not very far. And... okay. Well, that was fairly unimpressive. So, let's start moving Hector up. I do want to move Elliewood up as well, just so he can uh, give Hector his support bonus. But I don't want him to actually like do any of the work, so... What turn is it? Four? Okay. Drop Canis off. Move Florina up. And these guys can just kind of hang out back here. Meanwhile... Uh, oh, Saiyan can just straight up reach him right now. Well, that's good. Boop. Another victim for saying to murder. Move that way. There isn't honestly much left to do down here. I kind of feel like these guys are just gonna kind of chill. Yeah, that's fine with me. <gasps> Three. Oh wow, he crit. <laughs> He had a 2% chance to crit, and he did it. For a whole 6 damage. That's kind of what being a Swordmaster is like. You get a lot of critical hits, but your base damage is like 5. So like you have to critical hit just to make up the, the difference. It's like if you're not critical hitting, then you're not doing normal amounts of damage. Yep, you can make it here. That's good. Don't want to buy anything. I'm selling. Do I want to buy...? No. I could use a few more iron swords, but I do not have any. Or that shop does not have any, I should say. Getting through this force is going to be kind of annoying. And I suppose that is it. Oh man, this guy's got a steel bow. It's always fun when you level up from like dodging or something. Feel the wrath of Dart. It feels a lot like a giant axe caving in your skull. Surprisingly enough. Actually, I wonder if these Wyvern Riders pop out on their turn. 
I feel like they might not. I do have to be careful with Priscilla here, but well, we'll just have to be careful. Oswin, uh, get Fiora out of here. I'm not actually sure exactly where the Wyvern Riders pop out, so. We'll just have to find out. Okay, so they do pop out on their turn, but... Or no, they, they don't. They pop out on my turn. What am I talking about? Almost there! Okay, so I guess what I'll do is... Let them come towards me. That should be outside of any of their range. I guess I'll see how that works. They have less movement range than I thought. Why are you still using a sword? I mean, she has a 100% hit chance even with the sword equipped, but still. And they all just went for Florina. Ow, oh, that actually kind of hurt. Like, not an insignificant amount. I kind of doubt Priscilla can reach Florina. Go like this. Shabam! I don't know why. I, I guess just because the uh, the spears that generals use look so heavy, it's just so satisfying when they like smash someone's face in. And how? Can you just kill one? The, that, the animation that the druids use when they're casting, it looks like they're like tossing a spell at the bad guys and it kind of makes me feel like they're the, the animation should go a little bit faster because it's like here, take this! And then the spell takes like forever to cast. And this guy has a 0% chance of doing 0 damage to Hector. So let's go with the Iron Lance now, thanks. That's not uh, particularly reducing the chance that they'll hit me, but it is making sure that I will kill them. Hopefully this doesn't backfire and she ends up getting killed next turn, because that would be unfortunate. Although it does look like she can only get hit from one spot, so that's good. Is that in any of their ranges? That would be in one person's range, but maybe it's a good idea to draw them away anyways. Meanwhile, down here... Isn't that... Ursula? Hmm. Hammer and staff, huh? So it's a very interesting staff. Like she says, it has the ability to restore a weapon to new condition, so it can restore the durability on an item. So that's very handy. Uh, it's especially useful, of course, for rare weapons like a brave weapon or some such. You really decide to go for Florina over Priscilla? 
Actually, if she just kills this guy, then that means more guys will have a chance to go after Florina. That could be bad. Well, she does have one more hit in her. This is kind of bad. I saw this coming. Okay, one more, one more. You got one more in you, Florina. Go for it. Do it. Do it! Dodge that lance! Dodge it! Oh! Oof. And she doesn't kill this last guy. Well, that was unnecessarily tense. I should have thought that one through a little bit better, I guess. There's no more threat here, so I don't particularly feel like I need to use the men's staff. And let's go with Canis. I just feel like that animation would be so much better if he was like throwing a fireball or something. It looks like he's trying to throw something, but he isn't. Heal her up again. I would really like to be able to kill this guy to get his Lunatome, but I don't think there's any way of doing that without getting in the range of Vita. So that is not something we're going to be doing. And might as well get last little bit of experience for Priscilla. Actually, now that I'm looking at my notes, it might be worth visiting this vendor. Uh, because I might as well buy one more Shine Tome and a couple of Elfire Tomes. I'm probably way too stocked up on Fire and Elfire Tomes, but I guess we'll find out in the coming. well. Not the coming levels, but in the long term. Basically, I should never have to buy another anima book ever again. I guess it worked out. What shall we do? Well, yeah, obviously. Hmm, yeah. Well, her, it came from her spear. Run away! Huh? That's very bold of you. How can you... wait. How can you track them at all? They're flying! It's not like they're leaving footprints or like... Anything like that. They're freaking flying. I mean, unless you can, like, smell them or something. I guess the assumption is that they have some form of foot soldiers, then. I don't think the question is whether she can track them or not. The question is whether doing this is going to get us freaking killed. But anyways, that's about it for today on Let's Play Fire Emblem. I guess we will find out tomorrow whether or not we find the Black Fang's f fort base thing. But until then, catch you later.